Welcome to video 61's uh, newest teaser. Uh, the game is called Tile Smashers. It is going to come out on a 16K cartridge for the Atari 8-bit. Um, it is a game that I designed myself. Uh, I spent a few years on, on thinking about how this game was going to be on and off over the years. I uh, included the elements of three different games into this. I wanted to keep it as a kind of a retro looking game, but uh, have modern elements. The three games that I, I um, elements that I included, of course, are Pinball, Breakout, and then in uh, later uh, stages, uh, we don't have it in the teaser yet though, but they're there, is um, uh, Pong. Uh, there is uh, a couple levels where there is actually uh, the uh, computer playing Pong at the same time you are playing pinball and, and breakout. I designed this game because not much, uh, nothing really like it on the Atari uh, 8-bit or, or any of the other machines. The first game that came out um, that really got me going on pinball um, on your television set or your monitor was of course Video Pinball on the 2600 and yeah, it really wasn't much of a pinball game, but at the time it was uh, state of the art. So kind of included uh, that look, um, video pinball type look, coupled uh, with breakout. Uh, the modern uh, technique would be, of course, the scrolling. And um, I think it's a, a pretty cool game, and it's not anything that's available on, on really... Uh, any uh, Atari's uh, classic platforms. Uh, they did manage to come up with one decent uh, pinball game for the 2600, and that was Midnight Magic. Of course, that was very late in the game. Um, so uh, a lot of the uh, original people who played on the 2600, you know, never got to see it, so Video Pinball was it. And then, of course, uh, nothing like it on the uh, 5200. Uh, really no pinball game at all and nothing like it or no pinball game at all for all practical purposes on the Atari 7800. So uh, when I designed this game I wanted to do it on a 16k cartridge so that maybe someday we could port this over the 5200. One of the programmers and beta testers in our group is a big fan of 5200 can do some 5200 programming and we're working on it and we're considering porting this over to the 5200 if any of you 5200 people out there see this um, please let us know we're also considering putting it on 7800 because there's nothing like it on the 7800 either and um, I'm a 7800 fan and yeah I would like to see it but 7800 programming isn't exactly the easiest thing for people to catch on to, so we may be able to do it someday, um, we may not. But as far as the 8-bit is concerned, he, yeah, you know, David's Midnight Magic, that should have never been put on an XE cartridge. I mean, those days were long over for a game like that. Um, it's playable, it's okay if, you're, if you have a version that uses the paddle controllers, uh, but still a, a pretty slow, uh, monotonous game, and yeah, you just kind of play it just to watch the ball bounce around a little bit, but there's really, it's pretty gruesome on the Atari 8-bit for, for uh, pinball games, too. They're all kind of designed out the pinball construction set, which in its day was cool, but, you know, that, it got old pretty fast, so nothing like it either uh, on the Atari 8-bit. So um, I had put together elements of the game, in the 1990s and and then um, uh, finished it off and and of course uh, I think I designed either 10 or 12 of the stages you call them tables Peter did the rest um, Peter did add uh, element of another game and that would be um, Arkanoid so the power-ups are uh, Peter's idea and the wall at the lower stage is also Peter's idea too and the programming of course the, the skills of Peter are phenomenal and that's it I'll let you watch her Thank <laughs> you.